Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to log and prep footage uh, that was shot for editing in Final Cut Pro. And this is uh, footage that was, uh, this will be like B-roll footage and also interview footage and also uh, footage that's been uh, shot in dual system sound that needs to be synced. So how to prep that so that it's easy to work with. So you can see here in my project, I've got uh, DSLR July 21st, 22nd, some DSLR footage that was shot for this Irving project. You can see I'm just scrolling through here. It just has the names that came out of the camera right now. Now this footage has already been transcoded to ProRes and there's another tutorial on that, which uh, you can watch to see how to do that so that it's optimized for editing in Final Cut Pro. And if I, if I scroll through my logging bin here, or if I actually, I can actually make it bigger. Can I make it bigger? because I'm going to be doing mostly logging, I'm going to make this bigger. Whoops. Because this is the window I'm going to be using. If I look at this blue footage that's highlighted, you can see it says 1920 by 1080, 29.97, Apple Pro is 422. That's perfect because that is what it's been transcoded in. And that's what we want to use for editing. You want to make sure you're working with the ProRes footage and not the original DSLR footage because that won't work for editing. So you want to check it, make sure it's ProRes, make sure the audio rate is 48 kilohertz, which is what it should be. Okay. So then what I like to do, uh, I don't change these names ever. I always leave these the same because I want to be able to reference them if need be. So what I do when I'm logging is I use this field, the log note field. And I like to drag it over, which you just kind of hold it. You can just hold it. Come on, hold it and drag it. And you can move it anywhere you want. So I'm going to move it right next to the clip so it's easy to, to see what it is. And then I basically just, I'm going to make this small again because I'm going to have to see the viewer. Then I basically just double click that. And that's this. And I can watch my clip. And, uh, you know, this is pan up in my log note. I'm going to put pan up river because it's a pan up on the river. Pan up river. And sometimes I find typing into this log note thing a pain, um, but you'll figure it out. I'm going to make this a little bigger. Okay, so then it's got log note, pan up river. Beautiful. And you just go through all your clips. For the B-roll clips, this is, you know, what, what it works. If you know who these people are, you can say who they are. This is kind of a, you know, family in garden. Family in garden. And th these clips are actually all part of a sequence uh, with the this family who, I can't remember their name, I think it was, it's, it's not Risser, but anyways, what I would do once I'm done doing all this is I would organize things into folders. So you can do that by by going to new bin, which is folders in Final Cut Pro, and then it creates a bin, and I'll call it, uh, you know, family in garden, and then I'll put, I'll move all these clips into the family. If there's like 10 clips from the, the family in the garden, I'm gonna move all those clips into family and garden. If there's like 10 clips of the river and people by the river, then I'm gonna put uh, all those clips in a folder so that it's really well organized so that it's easy to edit with. So you want to always be thinking about uh, your organization strategy. Once you've labeled all these, you want to organize them into folders so that you can find them easily. Now this one you can see is a setup. So what, what we've done is we've recorded dual system sound on this. So we've shot this with a DSLR and then we've recorded the audio with, with uh, the X1 camera. So you can see there's a slate. It says C9 take one. She's going to clap. So this is a, a, something that we're going to need to sync later. So when I label this, I'm going to label it a little different in the log note. I'm going to label it with what it is. I'm going to call it DSLR scene nine take one, because there's going to be another clip on the EX one. That's also scene nine take one. And I'm going to want to put those together because they're going to need to be synced up. So basically I've taken DSLR scene nine take one and uh, presto. And I'm going to put that in its own folder. All the, all the dual system sounds that have slates like this, I'm going to be putting those uh, in a separate folder so that they can, and I'm going to put the EX1 clip that matches that, that has the audio on it in the same folder so that I can later, I can sync them up. So that's that, you know, here's another river one. Oh, this is pan river, pan to family. 
River pan to family. And you can make these pretty long, don't worry about that. And you just keep labeling it in the log note. And you'd go through and you'd do the whole thing this way. Now I'm just going to try and find if I can find if there's an interview. You know, these are some shots of the bike. So all the bike shots I'd put in a folder and I'd label them, you know, bike handlebar CU, bike handlebar CU. It's good to use like CU, MS for medium shot, WS for wide shot, MCU for medium close up, CU for close up. That helps to know what, uh, what the shot is. You know, there's Tyler by the barn. You know, I call that Tyler by barn. In the, all in the log note, you want to just sort of label them all and organize them all. Uh, and the important ones to, to separate out are the setups, the ones that have been recorded with dual system audio. And if there's an interview, then you want to set, this isn't an interview, but it's another setup one. So I'd call this one DSLR scene 13 take one. DSLR scene 13, oops. Scene 13, take one. And I'm just trying to see if there's uh, any interview clips here. And the way I can do that is I can go to view, show thumbnail. This is a kind of a fun way to, if you want to see the thumbnails, you just double uh, right click on there and you can show the thumbnail. That sometimes helps to scroll through and just get a quick idea of what the clips are that are in that uh, folder. And this is mostly B-roll type stuff. I'm looking for an interview, but I don't see one. But anyways, the interview would be the same. It would be a setup shot. Those ones are important to separate out. You put those in a folder called INT. Like if it's her name's Cassie, it would be like Cassie INT interview and put label in the log note. You just want to label it, you know, DSLR scene two, take one, whatever it says on the slate. That's what you want to label it. That's going to help you when it comes time to sync up with the uh, with the audio, which is either going to be recorded on a separate audio recorder or is it going to be recorded to the EX1 camera. So, you know, I won't bore you with any more of this. It's pretty straightforward. Just, uh, again, always think about organization when you're doing this. All right, cheers.